in this video, you'll learn how to use Apple Classroom to manage the iPads in your classroom. So to start, you'll wanna to go to self-service and download Apple Classroom. I've got it right here. It's this orange icon with a little waving person. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch that app. And when I open Classroom, I will see all of my classes already pre-made for me right here. So there's no work that needs to be done as far as creating classes and getting students in classes, but you should know that uh, these are not customizable, so you can't change the name of the class or the color. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my class. And I'm gonna see two iPads come to life. So in order for iPads to display here, the student has to be within about 20 feet of you. So these are the only iPads that I have with me for today's demo. The other three are not in the room. Um, please note that this all works on Bluetooth. So if a student were to take their iPad and go to another floor, you would no longer be able to see them. Um, while we're talking about it, let's talk about some ways that students might be able to hide from you in Apple Classroom. So if I turn my Bluetooth off, there is a very good chance that you will no longer be able to see what I'm doing. Um, but we are finding that if Bluetooth was on when the course was initially opened, that uh, students are still showing up despite turning off their Bluetooth. Also, students can go into airplane mode. When they do that, they might be able to hide from you. Again, we are seeing that if students are connected appropriately when you start class, that that connection seems to stick. But um, those are two ways that can, they can hide from you. Another way they could hide from you is turning their iPad off and back on. So is Apple Classroom absolutely foolproof? No, not at all. This is a really, really nice tool to use in conjunction with your wonderful classroom management that you already have in place. So let's start talking about some of the options we have. So the first thing I wanna show you is how we can view screens. So if I come up to this little icon up here with the little circles, I can see the screens of the students in front of me in a relatively real time. There's a bit of a lag, but nothing too crazy. So I, I can see the screens big like this by pinching the screen and zooming in and out. So I can see them at a glance, or I can see them nice and big. To go back to the view we were in before, I'm gonna click these four squares, and now I'm seeing my main page. Um, something to note while we're here, when students are in apps, you will see them appear right next to what will be a picture of them when you have a real class running. Um, and you will also see over here how many students are on each app. You can click the app to see a list of the students using it. So a nice way to be able to say, okay, we're all in Canvas right now and knowing exactly who's there and exactly who's not. Okay, let me go back to all students. And I'm gonna show you some controls up here that we have that will control all the iPads at once. So we already talked about how we can view screens. If I click this little I button, I've hidden all of the apps that are currently open on the iPad. So if I need everyone's attention on me, I can hit this little I button, or I can come over here and click the lock button. That essentially makes the iPad useless. They can't do anything at all. So if you need their attention, or perhaps you're showing a film clip, that might be a nice button to hit. If I click it again, I unlock all the iPads. If students are playing music or watching videos and I need to get their attention, I can click this mute button. And finally, I have two options over here. So if I click this little app picker, I have all the apps that are on my iPad listed here. I can force students into a particular app as long as they have it downloaded and I have it downloaded. So if I want all my students to go to Notability, I could simply click Notability, it'll shoot them there. But a lot of people like to use this lock in app after opening feature. So if I slide that and then I choose Notability, it is pushing, it is pushing the iPads to Notability um, and they are now locked in Notability and cannot leave. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the iPads by clicking this lock. And now the students are free to leave Notability. Uh, I can also do something similar with websites. So if I click this little compass, I can navigate students to something in any of these apps or something that I've favorited in Safari. So I favorited this article about inquiry 
And now I'm navigating all the iPads right to that website. Now let's talk about what you can do for individual students. So all of these tools up here, they exist for individuals as well. So if I go ahead and click on an individual student, I now get all of these tools. So these all operate in the exact same way, except for AirPlay. So if I am not already AirPlayed on the Apple TV, so my Apple TV is ready for anyone to use it, I can click the AirPlay button and share the really good work that a student is doing in my classroom without having to wait for them to connect to the Apple TV. Rosemary and Kelly taught me this trick. They use the group feature to manage their classroom with ease. So they have giant choirs. Um, and instead of trying to monitor many, many, many iPads at once, they create groups. So I just created a group and I'm gonna choose which students belong in that group and I'm going to click done up here. Okay, so now I have a group of students. This is a tip from Rosemary and Kelly. They create groups of students that need that additional help or that additional monitoring and they just monitor those iPads rather than one big giant class. Um, so that might be something you wanna bring into your practice as well. Finally, when we are in Apple Classroom, AirDrop works. So AirDrop is turned off typically, but when you're in Apple Classroom, that's no longer true. So if Apple Classroom is running and I want to AirDrop something to students, say I wanna send out this photo. I hit my share button top right. I choose AirDrop and look, my test class is popping up over here. So I can send it to my test class or just that one group that I created going to airdrop it to everyone. Okay, finally, when class is over, you click this little button with the three dots and you click end class. When you do that, you get a report. So you can see which students were using which apps and for how long. This could be a nice piece of data to bring to parent-teacher conferences you will want to screenshot it though. This does not archive anywhere. So be sure to screenshot any data you wanna save at the end of your class. I'm gonna hit done. And now my class is all closed out and ready to go for next period. Thank you and reach out with any questions.